All right, we're out in the middle of the woods right now. I just ate shit, but we're about to go cut down a Christmas tree. Brandon ate shit like twice coming down here. That's why he's all snowy. See? Check it out. Don't so what, how far up are you, you think you're gonna cut it? Well, I'll cut it and then I can yeah, then you size it and trim it. Cause that thing is pretty damn big. That's cold as fuck. Grab it. Hang on, let me clean it up. <laughs> Not too much. Not too much. Uh, woo! I just got snow all over my face. Uh, Alright, let it drop. Wow. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, dude. I just got some gloves because my hands are about to fall off. We're about to drag this Christmas tree out of here. Successfully made it out with the Christmas tree. Alright guys, it's currently like 10 in the morning right now. I just woke up and here's my current physique. I'm getting pretty shredded. I'm about to go downstairs, weigh myself, and I'll show you guys what I'm eating for breakfast. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so the current weigh-in is yeah, like 194, so with the camera, so I'm probably like around 193. And I don't really want to drop below 190 on this deficit. I at least want to stay in the kind of like mid to lower 190 range. And I also have like a little cold I've been dealing with the last week or so, and I just woke up, so that's why I might sound a little bit weird right now. So what I've been having for breakfast basically every single morning is a black coffee, a glass of water, and then three eggs, rice, and there's just two little sausage links in here. I've been eating around 3,000 calories in this deficit, and if I go in and hit like a two hour leg day or like an insane workout, I'm not just gonna stick to my diet and eat in a huge deficit and kinda just lose gains. I'm gonna eat a lot more food that day, so I'm stay, still able to like make gains and grow from that workout because I'm not staying like super 100% strict on this cut. So yeah, I'm still trying to make gains, but on a normal daily basis, I think I'm eating like just under 3,000 calories. things look at that it's all metal oh and they're just like a super light silver so they're almost white that is just so fucking clean that going up. <clears throat> fuck I'm choking on my waffles you good these are gonna be going on the kabuki deadlift bar that's coming tomorrow got a nice little bar lock so we're the only ones using that shit at our gym and yeah dude, that's fucking clean man <laughs> I'm gonna go make sure that. Oh damn, these things are like. Snapped. I'm gonna go make sure that lock I got fits in here. That's so satisfying. Yeah, so I literally ordered the Kabuki deadlift bar like one or two weeks ago, and we just got some clips for it, and these things are looking fresh as fuck. But it's supposed to come in tomorrow, 
Hopefully no real power lifters are watching this right now because we may or may not try benching with it. Could be fucking OP. We'll see though, but yeah, I'm so hyped to get that thing. So hopefully yeah, it comes in Yeah, because well. benching with the Texas deadlift bar is super nice because it's like really skinny and it's a little longer. So like you get that, it just like bends on your chest, it flexes and then it whips back up. Here's my theory. So with the Texas deadlift bar, if you grab like a little closer, like pinky on the ring or even in a little bit, you can really get that whip. But we bench ring finger on the ring, even experimented with middle finger on the ring because we're so tall. So I feel like even the kabuki is gonna be so, have so much whip, even middle finger on the ring, you get to shorten the range of motion, you get the whip of a Texas deadlift bar with a close grip. All right, we're about to make some pre, not taking anything crazy today, just doing some euphoria and then some extra pump product as well. So we just have some like alkaline pump product. I basically just don't wanna do two full scoops of this because I don't need 400 milligrams of caffeine. So I'll just do one scoop of this and add in a little extra pump. But lately, I've just been feeling like so tired throughout my day, specifically in the morning. And I've just had like no motivation because I've been so tired. I just feel like absolute dog shit until I get my pre-workout in. And then obviously like once I get to the gym, start like warming up and training, I feel so good. And then I feel good like rest of the day after that. But yeah, in the mornings, like I've literally just been so tired and like not even hyped to go to the gym, which has just been shitty. So maybe I need a break from pre-workout or something. I don't really know. But yeah, you've been sticking to a pretty nice RPG, so I wouldn't say you're just like super fatigued or yeah. anything like that. I'm just depressed as fuck. I'm just kidding. But literally, like after I can hit like a two and a half hour workout, absolutely kill myself, and I'll be like home watching some like YouTube videos, and I'll get so hyped up at like 11 p.m. and I'm like, fuck, I literally want to go back to the gym and train, and then like in the morning when I'm actually like getting ready to go to the gym, I don't even want to go. Yeah, right now I'm just so tired, man. Same, and I just slammed a fucking ghost 200 mega caffeine energy drink. Jesus. And now I'm gonna have my pre, and I'm still tired. That's the pro. But I also am coming off a 72 hour fast, so that's why I'm just, I, I need a few days to recover from that. But I felt like really good on the fast, but now I'm just like, so tired. I'm just like forcing myself to talk right now. I just want to curl up in a ball on the floor and start crying. So I'm just going to drink this as soon as I get. Ah! Ah! The SPD Dude, belt really and what's bad. his ladder doing here? Dude, I'm going to drink. Yeah, <laughs> Devin no. always loves to tell that. He like... the SPD belt in the worst places. Uh -huh. Okay, I basically haven't been on a program in an extremely long time. I've basically just been like kind of making up whatever I want. If I feel really good, I'll go heavy. And then on days I don't feel so good, I'll do a little bit higher volume. But I want to hit a three by six on a squat today with 365 pounds, which I think would be an all time PR or at least like tie up a PR. So I'd be extremely satisfied with that. And last week I actually hit two different PRs, which I'll put up on the screen right here. I hit a 365 high bar PR for three. And I literally like never squat high bar, so I've been adding that in. And then I hit my first 500 pound conventional deadlift, and those were both done at like end of the week, like not in good conditions at all. So I wanna get up to a 405 high bar squat and a 545 conventional deadlift as soon as possible. And then I'll probably switch back over to deadlifting sumo twice a week and deadlift, er, and then squatting low bar twice a week. So yeah, we just pull up to the gym, about to go in, and then hopefully get the three by six with 365, and we need snow tires on this car because yeah I was going like five miles an hour and just slid 20 feet we lose our sight in the spirit of things we lose our sight when we put our trust in things of this material world Fade away, but we keep coming back, 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 keep
last squat day, I got this like weird pain like all through here. That's what happens like, when you don't train the calves. Side of my, the side of my ankle. And I thought it would be good today, but something about just like having like any rotational force or just like, I don't know, it's hurting pretty bad. So hopefully it like doesn't bother me too much and I get through my sets. So yeah, I'm dealing with that. I'm gonna let the spine decompress for a second. I need to do that. I just finished that set with 365 and I did like a decent set of six. It didn't look like it was too heavy, but like it felt so brutal. I don't know why. So I'm just gonna try another set. Hopefully I'll get it. I mean, I think I have it in me. It's just gonna be absolutely brutal. So yeah, I mean, let's get it. Let's go. So out of breath still. I don't know what's going on. We're all out of breath. Jackson's dying, you're dying. brutal three by six with 365 literally like overshot the rp that was just like rp 10 dying right now but about to do some leg press which is four plates keeping pretty light just do sets of like three by ten Whoa. all right go right now three two one play the leg press oh i took my knees Superset leg extensions and hammy curls. I'm probably just gonna film like a few reps of each because in my opinion, it's pretty boring to watch. And I'm gonna go super light on leg extensions because my quads get pretty fucked up from it. Gotta let my teardrops heal before I go heavy again, so yeah. <laughs> There's actually legs under there, believe it or not. Gorilla. Uh. I usually always hit rear delts at the end of my leg days. So if you guys want to like bring up a muscle, like arms, forearms, something like that, I would just like add that in at the end of your leg day. So you're hitting it like at least three days a week.
Friday, that's a wrap for the leg day. Devils, found our new CrossFit program. Let's go, dude. So I just finished up that leg day a little bit ago. Kind of an average workout. I kind of just cruised through accessories. My squats went pretty good. I was just like super tired and fatigued today for some reason. I have a little bit of a cold, so that could be why. And then Devin was back squatting 315 again for the first time in a little while, so. Yeah, it's been about a month since I've been able to squat 315, and I did feel a little bit of inflammation in my quad tendon, but most of my issues come the following days after I squat, so I'm hoping that I feel pretty good in the days to come, and that'll be a really good sign for my knee but I did do a 72 hour fast that I ended up breaking last night at 6 p.m. so I do have some carryover fatigue from that so it'll probably take me a few days to replete from that so yeah I should be feeling good by the end of the week and back to what 315 yeah. so I'm pretty happy. I'm about to go home cook up a pound of beef I've been eating a full pound of beef after my gym after the gym can't even talk right now so yeah I'm starving right now I'm about to go do that all right, we got the pound of beef cooking. All right, we got one pound of some 93.7 grass-fed ground beef right here, and then a glass of milk because I literally just feel like having a glass of milk right now, but this is easily 100 grams of protein going straight to the legs. Dev and I just started playing some Call of Duty recently, and we like never play any video games like, I played Skate 3 on my Xbox a little bit, maybe like six months ago last spring. I was like messing around with a little bit, but we just recently started playing COD. We're like low-key kind of bots, but if you guys do want to see any of that, I will film it, so it could be pretty funny. But yeah, about to eat this, and then I'm probably gonna go start editing the video. So yeah, let's land this. Yeah. 